Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast at Tiffany's. It is Friday, August 25th. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I actually had two consignments dropped off this week. And um, one of them was my favorite thing, handmade baskets. My mother-in-law and a friend of hers at our church um, made handmade baskets for years. They used to even go to the basket conventions every year where they would learn how to make new baskets. And then they used to have basket classes where they would teach others people in the church how to make baskets. And I've went to a bunch of those over the years and I've made a lot of my own baskets. I can't make them on my own, like without supervision, but I can make them when my mother-in-law is telling me what to do. Um, but I thought I would show you some of the baskets that I've made over, uh, over the years. Just There are just a few because I have a lot in my house that I've made, but um, these are just a few. And I also have um, some basket classes that I missed, so my mother-in-law put together a a package of the ingredient of the ingredients <laughs> the supplies to make ones so I have like about two or three of those that I've never made after all these years I mean she gave those to me years ago and I'm thinking that I need to make time in my schedule to go take those kits over to her house and sit with her and do them you know while I still have that chance to do that with her um, so I really want to make time to do that to finish those baskets but anyway Let's see what I've made. Let me show you what I made. Here's one with a wooden base. I just love these. I love little baskets, but the little baskets are the hardest. Like getting the, the reed to, to, you know, go around and see there's a little woven twine there. Um, I'm sure if you studied really hard, you could probably find imperfections in this because I did it, not her. But, but I love that. Usually I put my name and the date on the bottom, but I didn't do it on this one. I don't know why. I'll have to figure out when I made that. And I've got this one. This one's got a floppy handle. That one I actually put a date on, so I made it in January of 2019. Isn't that cute? This one we use for um, napkins. <laughs> it's similar to this one, but it goes in a little bit. Um, and it's got a square bottom, a rectangle bottom. This one is rounded bottom, but this is a rectangle. But this one I also didn't date. Very strange. Or, or put, you know, usually the basket makers put their name and the date on the bottom, and I usually do that, but I didn't do that on that one. This is another one we use on our kitchen table for Kleenex and, and uh, vitamins. And it's does got it's got an open bottom like this. I don't know if I. Hold on. Oh, I actually didn't make that one. <laughs> that was this one was made by somebody else, so it's hard for me to remember exactly what I to put it done. This is one that I keep some um, potpourri kind of stuff in on my in my li living room. It's got a painted bottom, and that was made by my mother-in-law in 2018. So I didn't make that one either. And then we have these. I think these are called Williamsburg baskets, and one of these was made by me, and one of these was made by my mother-in-law. And what's really funny is, um, my mother-in-law and, and her friend would make these at the church, and then they would sell them at a festival that we have in the town called Heritage Days, or you know other things. They would sell them to make money for the church. So this one I made, and the date is messed up. Oh, January 2009. So that was one, probably one of my first ones. So I made this one. But this one was made by my mother-in-law, but I actually found it in an antique store. And I turned it over and saw that she made it. And she also made this one in 2009. And so I grabbed it. I bought it. <laughs> so I could have it. So I have twins. And they gave us one of one exactly like this to sell. So we have one just like that to sell. So those are just a few of my baskets. Um, I have so many. I have ones hidden in places that I can't even remember. I have a big like a uh, like a desk uh, like a 
you know, like a office size, like trash can, not an office, but you know, like a bedroom size trash can, one up in our bedroom that we actually use as a trash can. And it's okay because it's in our bedroom, so that nothing wet ever goes in there. You know, I don't put liquids in there or rotten food or anything like that. It's just paper, you know, tissue paper or what, Kleenex or whatever. And I, you know, I line it with a trash bag, but it works great up there. I love it as a, as a trash can. And I have another one that's kind of a taller one in my living room. And we have a, like an internet router in our living room and, and uh, um, a base station for our outdoor security lights, like, a, like, you know, an internet base station. So I hide it, I put those in the basket on the floor and you can't see the ugly, you know, electronics in my living room. So it's, it's really neat. Um, I love doing stuff like that, you know, using baskets for things like that so that you can't see what's going on <laughs> in there. So that was, um, I'm so excited to show you the, the basket consignment and those baskets, um, like I said, they're all handmade and they came pre-priced of like with the price the church would like to get on them. So I'm going to go live in our Facebook group. Well, I haven't decided if I'm going to go live or if I'm going to take pictures and put prices on the pictures and put them up in a show, but I'll probably go live and do an unboxing basically to show you, you, um, show our group members these baskets and we're going to have a pre-sale, a pre-listing sale. So I'll tell you the, show the basket, show you the price and you can buy it right on this spot. So it's like a live sale, but it's a pre-listing sale. It's an unboxing, but we're also, you know, we, we might sell something in an unboxing. And then I'll do an unboxing. After that, I'll do, um, I'll show you the other consignment I got today. It's just a small consignment. Not this, not today, but this week. It's just a small consignment and it's office supplies. But I did want to show something here. So I got this. They brought me to sell the CDs, CD-ROMs, CD recordings. So there's not, it's not full, but there's CDs in here and then a huge stack of CD cases. So I don't still use CDs. Do you still use CDs? Are you burn CDs? I mean, I don't, I don't know many people that do, but I'm sure if I list this on eBay, I'm sure there's people out there that are looking for CDs and CD cases. There's gotta be. So I'm going to do that. So, um, there's also like, um, in that box, there's just office supplies. So there's three tape dispensers, <laughs> scotch tape dispensers, um, you know, random office supplies, which is fine. They'll sell. <laughs> So I just wanted to see, um, let me know if you um, make anything like baskets or if you've ever made a basket because I really believe Oreo was just giving us a death stare today. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see that. Um, our sale, we're having our live sale this Sunday. Is it this Sunday? It's got to be this Sunday. Yeah. This Sunday. Um, is our Sunday night live sale and it's going to be a couple things. It's going to be back to school stuff, office stuff, and craft stuff, like crafty things, craft supplies. So that's the consignments I got this week kind of go in that theme. I got office supplies and I got baskets, handmade baskets. So I don't know if I will, I probably won't be showing any of those items on Sunday, but maybe, maybe if I get it process fast enough um but I usually don't because I usually take the consignments in order so it takes a while for me to get to the these but we'll see so join us Sunday on our Facebook page at seven o'clock and make sure if you haven't already joined our Facebook group to join our Facebook group Tiffany's Treasure Hunters because that's where you get to see all the pre-sales and unboxings and um get the good deals before anybody else all right, have a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.